1975, The Pony. I was the Margaret Mead of Jersey Shore music and um, discovering new civilizations, paying way too much for beverages. Mind you, I'm working at Perkins Pancake House. I got to save some of this for the air. Uh, Perkins Pancake House and Sears. Swanky guy, very fancy, always. Uh, eventually graduated from high school to go to Brookdale Community College. Um, didn't graduate from there. And uh, just a total loss, a complete loser. And um, we would go down to shore bars. And yes, um, I spent way too much money on beer waiting for Bruce and Clarence to show up at a bar called Trade Winds in Seabright. Um, because Clarence had a uh, condo next door, and that was the thought, that they were always palling around. We looked at life like the Dick Van Dyke show, thinking everyone on television or in music spent all their off hours together, of course. Like, you know, Matt Lauer and I would have dinner every evening by that theory. Um, but, you know, there's no, there was no greater upbringing, no greater place to grow up. I feel like I hit the lottery. I never got a college degree. Um, but look at what's happened in my freakish life. And I, I you know, you got to believe in, in that kind of Zen that things wouldn't have gone the way they went for me without an upbringing on the Jersey Shore. I pity those who weren't part of it because let me tell you, it's not one of those gauzy music memories that comes, gets better with every passing year. It was great, and we knew it was great at the time.